It's Friday, the 5th of January, 2018. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. The independent forensic team report of the Oroville Dam spillway incident just came out today. 584 page report on what happened at Oroville. What have we learned? Basically, the buck stops nowhere. This is a, a, an event that was 60 years in the making. I got my crack team here going through the pages of the report now. I'll post a link of the entire report. We just got off the phone with a um, phone press conference with John France of the forensics team, and it was an over hour long uh, phone conference a answering a lot of questions that folks had already about this report. The final report has a, a good five page summary starting out the report. And this is widely reported in the press today. The Oroville Dam spillway incident was caused by long-term systematic failure of the California Department of Water Resources, DWR, regulatory and general industry practices to recognize and address inherent spillway design and construction weakness, poor bedrock quality, and deteriorated service spillway chute conditions. The incident cannot reasonably be blamed mainly on any one individual, group, or organization. A couple of important things to note is that the final report follows the same um, findings as the preliminary report. And that preliminary report information, which came out earlier in spring, was, was given directly to the folks at Keywood Engineering, the folks that are working on the dam or the spillway today. But what this final report does is it goes into in-depth of the history and the building of the original spillway and it gets into the cultural issues and the management issues with DWR and dam management agencies in general. This independent forensics report deals with the main service spillway and the emergency spillway and does not deal with the dam at Oroville. The dam at Oroville is a completely separate structure and is not to be confused with the shortcomings in the design of the original Oroville service spillway. The report does mention that the Oroville Dam gets most of the attention by DWR and in the, that process some of the appurtenant structures like the spillway and emergency spillway do not necessarily get the attention that they need. What caused the spillway to fail still hasn't changed since the preliminary report and it was just what we were all suspecting all along. It was water intrusion through cracks, cracks that developed along the herringbone lines of the drain structure that, that uplifted the concrete and, and began the failure of the spillway. Also in this report is a lot of good information and very interesting information about the original construction of the spillway and some new to me photographs of that construction process and the shortcomings of that process. And remember too, the cracks that were involved with the failure of the spillway were large cracks. They were visible from Google Earth from quite a ways out. I couldn't get the uh, forensics team to nail down the size of those cracks. They didn't have a tape measure across it, but there's some good uh, pictures in the report of the cracks just before the spillway failed. Nothing compared to the hairline microscopic cracks that are widely talked about in the press today regarding the new construction on the spillway. So I'll post a link to this final forensics report in the comment section below, and then I think I'll take this entire uh, audio conference, the, the press conference audio, and post it in a separate video just as an audio format so you can hear all the different questions that were asked of John France from the forensics team. <laughs> Julianne, so what do I need to do to wrap this up? You need an in conclusion. A conclusion? Yes. Okay, very good. Let's think about a good in conclusion. <laughs> There's a lot more work to be done on the Orville Spillway and Emergency Spillway this year. In fact, there's going to be more work done this year, 2018, than was done last year. They got to finish the main spillway and the emergency spillway and the secant cutoff wall as well. So I'll be covering all that throughout the year. 
uh, look for an, another flyover here probably next week or so and we'll get caught up on what's going on at the Orville Spillway project. If you found this information helpful and interesting, hit like and subscribe and see you here.